And as Arkansans prepare for the upcoming election, more people in, in our community are running into language barrier issues and finding it hard at times to even comprehend what's actually on their ballot. That's right, Doug. Arkansas state voting laws regarding language, they're making it difficult for some people to cast their vote. And this is especially important now since a large number of Hispanic and Marshallese people call Northwest Arkansas home. KNWA's Gabriela Phelan talked with election coordinators in multiple counties today to learn what they're doing to overcome this language barrier. So Gabriela, what did you learn today? Sonia and Doug, in Arkansas, polling sites are only required to print ballots in English. This stems from a federal law that only requires the multi-language ballots to be printed if more than 10,000 voting age people do not speak English. One person says this is just another challenge that minority communities have to face. For the past 14 years, Irvin Camacho has been educating communities and helping them find their voices. I've worked on registering people to vote, so we've done that by going to people's houses and registering people, or also just holding events in our community, uh, and to educate people on what the voting process looks like. And for people like Camacho, the barriers to voting can be seen firsthand. Well, every year there's an election, I go with my stepfather to go vote. I take him with me, and he doesn't speak much English, so I have to explain to him everything. We walk to the computer together to vote. And I feel like if I wasn't there, I don't think he would do it. He would feel comfortable going by himself. And he's told me that several times. In Benton and Washington counties, federal law does not require ballots to be printed in any language beside English. And with more than 18% of the population in both counties being Hispanic and 3% of Washington County being made up of Pacific Islanders, Camacho says he believes this is a prime example of oppression in the voting system. So one of the things that I always tell my community is like, you can't allow other people to vote and make decisions for you. You have to show up too because your vote is important, specifically in local elections. And while not required to do so, both counties say they are doing what they can to provide resources. We have done our due diligence in just trying to find poll workers that can help translate out at the polls. So we have strategically placed those people in the areas that we usually see a higher turnout. So we've been able to recruit poll workers who are bilingual. We use uh, high school students from the Springdale High School area who are also bilingual and can assist us during uh, early voting and election day. And those measures, Camacho says, are a step in the right direction. So I think anytime that you have bilingual poll workers, it's really helpful because I've seen it happen directly. People that have given me feedback that are saying, hey, there was someone there that spoke my language and it helped make the process better. So I Bilingual poll workers will be stationed at most voting sites in Springdale and Rogers. Additionally, you can bring someone to translate for you and they do not have to be registered to vote. Live in studio, Gabriela Phelan, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. Gabriela.